Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, Thanksgiving is on the 14th of October, so I'm going to make my pies. Um, but first, we have to make a pumpkin pie. I'm going to use my dehydrated squash. And here's how we're going to do it. Here we have, we have to rehydrate it. I have a quarter cup of my dehydrated squash and one tablespoon of my pumpkin pie spice. Now, if you don't have dehydrated squash or pumpkin, go ahead and use one cup of pureed pumpkin. One tablespoon of spice of your choice. This is my home uh, made pumpkin pie spice. One cup of packed brown sugar, one cup of evaporated milk, and two eggs. Okay, first and foremost, we need to rehydrate our squash and our pumpkin. Well, Trust me folks, it doesn't matter. Squash will do. 60% of the pureed pumpkin that you buy in the store is actually squash. Now I've actually put my spices right in with my dehydrated pumpkin and I'm just going to pour a cup of boiling water in there. Oh my goodness, it smells like pumpkin pie already. And we are just going to mix this up and let that rehydrate. And while that does that, I'm going to get our pie shells over here. So let's go ahead and get our sugar in there and our eggs. We're just going to put that on there and we're going to get that whipping. Let's get our milk in there. Let's turn it down so it doesn't splash me all over the place. And our squash and spices is rehydrating beautifully. Now I could let this sit for five minutes but you know what I'm just gonna dump it in there because it's going right in the oven. Now we're gonna preheat our oven to 425 degrees. Okay here's our pie shells and <clears throat> I'm only doing one but I'm also doing a little deep dish one for Papa because if you think I'm gonna get away without making a pot with making a pie without giving him some, you're sadly mistaken. Now I took a little bit of extra pastry and I took a cookie cutter and I cut out a big pumpkin and a little pumpkin. And when these pies are half cooked, I'm gonna drop these on top. You don't put them on when it's liquidy because they'll just sink. Oh, alrighty. Thank you, cowgirl. We're just gonna pour our pie filling in here. Now remember folks, this stuff swells. So don't overfill your pie shell. Well, that just worked out perfect. Now this does one deep dish pie, or obviously one regular pie, and one little pie. So these are going into a 425 degree oven for 15 minutes, and then we are going to turn it down to 350 and continue to cook for another 30 minutes. All right, we'll be back when these come out of the oven. Okay, here comes our pumpkin pies. Isn't that beautiful? I went ahead and I put my little pastry on top halfway through the baking process. And there is Papa's little hunk of pumpkin pie, as he likes to call them. We'll be back when this cools down and after dinner and Papa has a taste of his pumpkin pie. Um, can I see that, please? Um, where's mine? I told you to make two. Oh. <laughs> what have you got there, Baba? Hunk of pumpkin pie. There. <laughs> oh my god. Is it good? Oh, you tell me. Papa waits all year for his hunk of pumpkin pie. Mm hmm. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying Papa waits all year for his hunk of pumpkin pie. That's why I had to make a little one just for him.